A wonderful afternoon to everyone here in this event. To our dear FEU administrators, professors, students, and guests, welcome to the testimonial gathering for Ms. Ronalyn B. Fordan, the woman of the hour. I am Russell Pami, third year communication student, and it is my honor to be your master lecturer for today. To formally open our event, May I request everyone to please rise for the invocation to be led by Mr. Joshua Valencia, the FEU Central Student Organization Vice President, followed by the National Anthem. Let us put ourselves in the loving presence of God and adore His holy name. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord, we thank you for this opportunity of gathering us together to recognize one of our fellow student leaders and FEU alumna named Ms. Roland Inverdan for her contribution to the FEU community and also as one of the advocate for human rights. We thank you for giving her the chance to share to all of us her experiences. With that, we also pray that please forgive us for we have sins. Give us patience in looking within ourselves for the answer we seek. Forgive us for we have forgotten and love for our fellow country. Continue to give us your love and support. May you grant us the hope and lead us the way out of our country. We ask this with a wavering faith and a living faith in your guidance. In your name we pray, Amen. make a great FEU student and today one great person who embodies all this is here with us. For our opening remarks, may I call on Mr. Joven R. Castro, the Director of the Student Development. Let's give him a round of applause. President Michael Alba, Dr. Jennifer Florida, Dean Joel Chavez, Ma'am Karen Panella, and fellow academic managers, student leaders, the parents and relatives of Ronald for that good afternoon. The 10 outstanding students of the Philippines as a search was founded in 1961, and based on available records, we had seven national awardees. The first one is in 2001, Alvin Lorenzo, who, who is a BS biology major, then in 2005, Jeffrey Mora, who is a BS Chemistry major. We had two in 2013, Michael Lava, BS Accountancy, and Michael Miatari, BS Psychology. We had one in 2014, Jose Lemuel Silvestre, AD Mass Communication major. One in 2015, Maria Stephanie Gagna, who is a BS Education major in Special Education. 
and one in 2016, that's Ronalyn Cordan, PA Communication. For four consecutive years of the TOSP search, from 2013 to present, there are only two universities in the country that have two national winners for four consecutive years, that's UP Diliman and Forrester University. And today, it's a cause for celebration for all of us, not because of the award itself, but more importantly, it means that we have passionate leaders for social change. In one of the ceremonies in Malacanya, one of our colleagues from another university asked us, what's your secret? Then Leonor, our coordinator, said, we don't have a secret. Our students just apply for the search. Secret nga, di ba? We begin to think, what really is FEU's strategy, if we may call it? And, of course, we will not reveal it here because you're on live stream. <laughs> but looking at the tagline of student development, our tagline is meaningful leadership. And based on our experience since 2013, we have had several reflections. Number one, we realize that core values are more important than leadership and academic achievements. We realize that there is a need to support the passion of our students and provide more learning opportunities for them. We realize that leadership is a push and pull endeavor and leadership is reasonable firmness. We push them beyond what they think they can do, critique what they do, but have an open mind to recognize the value of what they are passionate about. But we also pull them back towards what is more essential in leadership. And for us, relationships are more important, community immersion is more important, the family, practicality, cost efficiency. Having engaged with Ronalyn Pordan for quite some time, I believe that she has experienced all of these at Forrester University. And SDEB is honored to have been part of your learning journey and this gathering is for you, Ronnie. Salamat po. Thank you for that, Mr. Juven Castro. And now to award the certificate or plate and cash incentive to our guest, let's give a warm welcome to Dr. Michael M. Alba, the president of Parsons University, and assisted by Mr. Juven R. Castro, Dr. Joel Chavez, and Dr. Jennifer Florida. Forrester University Certificate of Recognition is awarded to Ronalyn B. Pordan as one of the national awardees of the 10 Outstanding Students of the Philippines 2016 for exemplifying excellence in academics, outstanding leadership, and extensive community involvement, and for embodying the values of fortitude, excellence, and uprightness. Given this 13th day of March 2017 at Alfredo Reyes Hall Lobby, Forrester University, Manila, Philippines. Signed by Mr. Joven R. Castro, Director of Student Development, Dr. Maria Teresa Trinidad P. Tinio, Senior Vice President of Academic Affairs, and Dr. Michael M. Alba, President. The recipient is no other than Ms. Ronalyn B. Fordan, a degree holder of Bachelor of Arts in Communication, magna cum laude, the former secretary of the FEU Central Student Organization, the founder of Marikit and Makisig Movement, the sole recipient of Dr. Nicanor Reyes Senior Leadership Award, the recipient of the 2016 GMA Excellence Award, and one of the 2016 10 Outstanding Students of the Philippines. To give her so once again, here is Ms. Renalyn B. for that. members, student leaders, mga kaibigan at aking pamilya. 
Magandang hapon sa inyong lahat. Lahat tayo nabuhay ng nakadepende sa ibang tao. Mula pagkabata, tayo'y tangan-tangan ng ating mga magulang. Sa kanila, nakaayon ng kung anong magiging kapalaran natin. Sila ang ating mga naging idolo sa kung anong klase ng tao natin inanais. Sila ang una nating mga naging gabay kung ano ang tama at mali. Kung ano ang mga makakabuti para sa atin. Walang iba, ang aking pamilya ang nagumpisang humubog sa aking pagkatao. Sa high school at college, doon ko nakakilala, nakilala ang mga organizations na mas hinubog ako. Mga samahan na nagturo sa akin ng mga prinsipyo at kaisipan na hindi na lamang makakabuti para sa aking sarili, kung hindi para rin sa ibang tao. Kabilang dito ang Girl Scouts of the Philippines, Assumption Development Foundation, at FEU Central Student Organization, na nagtanim ng kahalagahan na gampanan ang responsibilidad ko ng pagtulong at pagmamahal sa kapwa. Sila ang mga taong pinalakas ang aking prinsipyo, pinalawig ang aking kaalaman, at pinagtibay ang aking paniniwala. Sa kanila ko, sumandal at tumepende sa kung ano nga ba ang gampanan ko dito sa mundo. Simula noon, gamit na gamit ko ang salitang depend with a P. Dahil hindi ko rin alam kung anong dapat kong gawin, paano ako magsisimula, saan at kailan. Sa pagdadepende, marami akong natutunan. Marami akong nakuhang mga aral, mga payo, mga kwento, ng inspirasyon at iba pang mga bagay na nagpatatag at nagpalakas at nagpaliyab ng kagustuhan kong tumulong sa iba. Ngunit sa pagsabay ko sa Agos, doon ko rin nakatagpo at nakakilala ng mga taong susubukin ang aking katatagan. Dito ko natutunan na sa mundong ito, hindi ka lang dapat palaging nakadepende. Kung hindi, matuto kang dumefend. Defend with an F. Natuto akong magsalita at lumaban para sa mga pinaniniwalaan kong tama. Hindi dahil marami ang gumagawa, dapat na rin itong sundin. Hindi dahil itong nakasanayan, dapat na rin sang ayunan. At hindi dahil madali na mali, pinagpapalit ang mahirap na tama. Sa lahat ng pinagdaanan ko, Masaya ako na kaya ko nang i-defend hindi lang ang aking sarili kundi para, hindi na rin ang ibang tao. May isa akong classmate ng college na marunong manghula. Sabi niya sa akin may simbol daw na meron sa mga palad ko. Nung tinignan niya yung simbol sa palad ko, sabi niya ang nakalagay megaphone. Sabi niya, megaphone daw kasi kaya kong sabihin ang gusto ko at magiging boses ako ng iba pang tao. Masaya ako at nagampanan ng tadhana na sinasabi ng palad ko. Lahat, lalo na at tinuruan ako ng FEU na isa buhay ang hashtag Be Brave. Kaya maraming salamat sa Far Eastern University. Sa mga issue ngayon sa ating bansa, mula sa issue ng kababaihan, kabataan, at paglabag sa karapatang pantao, Naninindigan ako hindi lang para sa aking sarili kung hindi para rin sa iba na hindi nabibigyan ng hustisya. Aking ipagtatanggol ang pangarap kong maging isang abogado upang maipagtanggol ko rin sila. Dahil habang buhay kong ipagtatanggol ang aking bayan at sa pagtatanggol kong iyon, kasama ang aking mga kapwa Pilipino, lahat ng karapatang mabuhay at magbago. Lahat ay may karapatang mabuhay at magbago. At lahat ay may karapatang irespeto at mahalin. Ito ay hindi nakadepende sa disisyon ng iilan lamang. Kaya sana, let us not just only learn how to depend, but also to defend. Not just for ourselves, but also for our country. Let us all live with the hashtag be brave at hashtag para sa bayan. With all of this, Salamat sa mga taong tinuruan ako na mag-depend at mag-defend. Sa ADF, Madam and Father Kelly, at sa mga kapwa ko scholars. Sa Girl Scouts of the Philippines at sa Bulacan Council, Tita Ami at sa mga kapwa ko babae at lalaking scouts. Sa mga kapwa ko Tamaraos na kasabay ko na ipinaglaban ng aming mga pangarap na makapagtapos, 
sa mga student leaders na nakalala ko at mga naging kasamahan sa mga organisasyon na sinalihan ko dito sa FEU. Advocate, Tamara Volunteers, YWCA, Red Cross Youth, at higit sa lahat ng pinakamamahal kong Piyukso. Sa aking mga professors mula sa Department of Communication, lalo na sa tatlong kahangahangang babae na naging inspirasyon ko, Mang Panela, Mang Brilyon, at Mang Baro. Sa aking mga mentors na tinuring akong baby na laging sinasabi na parang bata si Pogues, mula sa student development, na hindi napagod at nawalan ng tiwala sa akin na kaya ko to. Sa buong journey ko ng 10 outstanding students of the Philippines, kasama ko po kayo. Alam ko pong naging mahirap dahil sa akong late bloomer na student leader. Ngunit naging buo pa rin ang inyong tiwala at pagsuporta sa akin. Maraming salamat po. Hindi po ako magiging si Pogs ngayon kung hindi dahil sa inyo. Habang buhay ko, natatanawin ito sa inyo. Sir Joven, Ma'am Lenor, Ma'am Aray, Ma'am Concha, at Ma'am March. Gayun din ang mga taong tumulong sa student development na ihanda ko, Kuya Numer at Kuya Michael Miyatari. Sa FEU na tumulong sa akin makapagtapos ng libre at may kasama pang mga awards, maraming salamat po. Sa aking mga tunay na kaibigan na lubos na nakakakilala sa akin, salamat sa pagiging sandalan at happy pills ko. Sa aking pamilya na laging nandyan para suportahan ako at laging tumatayo pag tinatawag ang pangalan ko, ako na isa akong pordan. Sa mga marikit at makisig, sa masama tayong pagpatuloy ang nasimula na laban para sa karapatan ng kababaihan at kabataan, because we at marikit, we always promise na maririnig kita. At we at makisig, our boys are makisig sa salita, isip at gawa. Higit sa lahat sa Panginoon, maging ko siyang defender. Maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat. Kayo ang 10 outstanding to, kayo ang aking DOSP. Ang 10 or ang the outstanding significant partners. Thank you. Let us learn how to depend and not just to depend, not for ourselves alone, but for our country. Wow, that was really an inspiring speech. Aside from the play, Ms. Fordan also received a cash worth 25,000 pesos. And now, to give a response to that testimonial, let's welcome Dr. Joval Chavez, the Dean of the Institute of Arts and Sciences. And again, FEU President, Dr. Michael M. Alba. Congratulations, Ronalyn, for being awarded one of the 10 outstanding students of the Philippines for 2016. You bring honor not only to yourself, your family, and your friends, but also to FEU and its community. Personally, I'm very proud of you for the person that you are. A strong woman, a woman of character, who has made it her life's mission to empower young girls and women in general. You are the epitome of fortitude, excellence, and uprightness, and these core values, which elsewhere I have characterized as the criteria by which life should be lived. I don't know if you know the song, Fill the World with Love, from the musical Mr. Chips. Let me play this song for you in the Akpaka.
that to be brave and strong and true are our core core values by other words. Thank you, Ronalyn, for being brave and strong and true. Given what you stand for and your ad advocacy, I find it timely that we are holding this testimonial gathering during Women's Month because you are one woman who deserves to be celebrated whether you had gotten the TOSP award or not. In your Marikit movement, which conducts self-defense workshops for young girls and campaigns through media literacy about disparaging stereotypical images of women, I can hear the lyrics of another song. Helen Reddy's, I am woman, hear me roar. But you and your advocacy are also timely in another respect. At this time when human dignity is being desecrated on a daily basis, you are the star of conscience and hope that shines bright in these darkest of nights. Because you have taken to heart the line from another song, the FU hymn, which is to battle for the right. Congratulations and thank you to your family for raising you to be the person that you are. To you and your family, thank you also for choosing FU to be part of your learning journey and for immersing yourself in the curricular and extracurricular offerings of FU. Best wishes to you as you scale up the ladder of the world of work and as you continue your life's journey. Again, congratulations. Powerful words from our beloved president. Being brave, strong, and true make us who we are as FEU students. Thank you for those empowering responses, Dr. Alba. We are all feeling the FEU pride at the moment, right? And that's why I'm requesting everyone to please rise for the singing of the FEU hymn. the Department of Communication, FEU student leaders, and the family of Ms. Fordan for the photo ops. Dr. Alba, Sir Juve.